Vince Russo claims that if he was offered an induction into the Hall of Fame, that he would reject it. First of all, we know Vince Russo's never getting into the Hall of Fame. When your legacy is terrible matches, there is no reason for you to have a place in the Hall of Fame when there's so many great wrestlers out there that aren't in there. And we know he'd never reject a Hall of Fame bit. He's only lying to himself at this point. The Wrestling Observer is reporting that Brian Danielson's MRI shows that he has injuries all the way down his neck. Stem cells have been doing wonders for wrestlers lately. I hope he gets some sort of treatment of that nature. But this man has given his body for the sport, and I'd like to wish him a speedy recovery. The Wrestling Observer is reporting that Rampage will be no more at the end of the year. It was a failed experiment, and honestly, it should always go on before SmackDown. I don't know who thought people would be up past 10 to watch a one-hour show with meaningless matches. Hopefully, they place it with something better at a better time of the day. AEW's RJ City calls out The Undertaker for his half-ass horrible podcast. I gotta agree with them. I listened to several episodes of The Undertaker podcast, and it's just them rambling about random shit. There is no structure to it. His podcast is a big letdown after he had the amazing showing at his Hall of Fame induction. If he kept it more wrestling-orientated and tell us stories from the backstage, then it probably would be a lot more important. Every once in a while, you'll get a usable clip out of Undertaker's podcast.